Welcome back to Remote Sensing Applications using ArcGIS. In this session, we're going to use LiDAR to locate tall trees. And by tall trees, I mean trees that have a height above 33 meters in elevation. So in this example from the upland study area, everywhere that there's a green uh, dot is a location where there's a tall tree that's above 33 meters in canopy height. So what we need to do is first take our ground LIDAR and use the minus tool or the raster calculator to subtract the first return elevation raster from our ground elevation. So here's our first return. Here's our ground elevation. So either use the minus tool or the raster calculator to take the difference between the first return and the ground elevation. And then the uplands, our units are in meters above sea level. And in the Tanana River area, our units are centimeters above sea level. So we'll use the minus tool. And that gives us a canopy elevation. So our canopy elevation in the uplands will range from near zero to about 37.58 meters canopy height. So we're interested in all the pixels that have a canopy height above 33. So the next step would be to use the con tool and turn all those pixels that have a value above 33 to a value of one. And then otherwise we'll have no data for the pixels that have a canopy elevation below 33 meters. So after we use the con tool, in the uplands, you should have pixel count of 45 pixels that had an elevation above 33 meters in terms of canopy elevation. All those pixels get a value of one. So some of these areas will be the same tree. It may be two pixels representing the crown from the same tree. So our next steps to use the region group tool to group all those pixels that have a value one that are connected together into one group. So we'll use the region group geoprocessing tool for all those tall pixels that have a value of one. And if they're connected, they'll become a group. So that will give us an output raster tall groups.tiff and then OK. So in the uplands, it turns out that all our tall pixels had a count of one. So if we right mouse click and go to statistics, the minimum is, oh, here's one with a count of two. So let's find the one that has a count of two. So sort descending. So here are some groups that have a count of two. So basically, they would be two pixels belonging to the same tree in this basically the same neighborhood, and they're connected. So our final step is we'll convert all these groups into polygons using the raster to polygon tool. And don't simplify the polygons, just make them squares. So here our tall groups will become a polygon shapefile called talltreelocations.shape, and then just OK. OK, so since I output to a shapefile, I created a double precision field called area, and then right mouse click calculate geometry, give us a square meter area of every polygon. So our pixels were one meter wide by one meter high, so most of the polygons are single pixel polygons. So here's a portion of the Tanana River study area, and we subtract our first return raster minus our ground elevation raster to get a canopy elevation raster. So there's our canopy elevation raster, and in this case, the values will range from near zero to uh, 3,464 centimeters canopy height. So in this case, when we use a contour, the question will be, is the value above 3,300 centimeters? And if it is, return a one as that being a tall pixel. And then once you have those tall pixels, you would run the region group command. And then after you have your groups, you would run the raster to polygon command to get your tall polygons. 
So here are some examples of tall pixels that are isolated as square polygons in that Tanana floodplain region. And when you're all done, you should have 25 tall polygons in the Tanana River floodplain project, and they all should have an average value above um, 33 centimeters or 3300 centimeters okay so if you go to the blackboard website i've got some quiz questions for you about locating these tall trees from lidar first return and ground elevation estimates